Hello guys and welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today it's a bit of a windy day so I've got the wind to my back. So hopefully, you know, with the, with the, with the new sponge that's on top, uh, you probably heard a little bit of rustling there, but that's just a bit of sponge that I've got on top to try and block the wind. Uh, so I hope it's working, but uh, I'm back down in Sorton Bay. Uh, I've come down a bit late. I, I thought I was coming down early, but uh, I'm actually a bit late because the mark that I wanted to get on was the one that I caught the ray on last time, which but there's a guy on it already. But I'm on the one that I blanked on the first, uh, no, the first time I came down bait fishing. I'm on that mark, uh, the, which is the first uh, pinnacle that comes out into the water. But uh, we've got two rods out today. We've got my lead icon and the Unabomber. I've got crab on the on the on the leader, and I've got bluey on the Unabomber. The reason why I bought crab is because I want a smooth hound, and I'm desperate for one before the start before the leave. So I've put a hardback crab on a small one, about about a two pound coin size, and I've just put it through the back legs and whipped it on the best I can. Just whip the legs on, so then it doesn't fly off. And yeah, that's been out there for a good 10 minutes now, nothing yet. Lead up there, I cut the Unibomb has been out for about five minutes. But uh, yeah, the choice of baits today is bluey and like I say, crab. And I have got uh, a whiting that somebody gave me. Uh, I'm gonna try and scop out later on to see if I can, you know, last cast on the big rod, to see if I can get anything big. You know what I mean? You always go big on the last cast, don't you? <laughs> But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'll, I'll set you up somewhere else, uh, over there somewhere. And if anything happens, you'll be the first to see it. All right, guys, the, uh, it's getting a bit chilly. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Um, the weather today, the conditions, right? It's, as you can see, it's flat. And I'm sorry about the wind. I know, I know there's definitely gonna be some wind noise. Right. Wind's coming from the south. So it's coming around the head, as you can see behind me. It's coming around there, or it's coming over the top and dipping down into the bay. Um, it is forecast to rain. I haven't brought any waterproofs with me, because I'm, I'm close to home anyway. I said to myself, nah, shove it. If it rains, it rains. But I'm hot, like I say. It seems to be a bit clear at the moment, to my, to, 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 at the back of me, as you can see. So. I'll keep an eye out for any dark clouds coming over. Uh, like I said, I'm fishing the tide out, and I'm maybe going to fish the tide in for one hour, and then we'll see what that produces. Okay, guys, we've got our first bite on the Unabomber. I don't know if you can maybe see it. There you are. It's just getting a couple of taps there. I've loosened the drag right off, so if it runs, it'll be okay. I want to go and tighten up on it now and see what we've got. Swimming to the left. There's no hedge yet. Maybe this is a continental rod, and it doesn't. It doesn't. Help. They always seem very big on a continental rod. <laughs>
Here we go, guys. We've got our first form back ray of the session. And it's swallowed me pen hook. Right, I'm just going to get my pliers out. It was uh, the pen hook that's hooked it. Right, open your mouth, mate. All right, turn off. Go. Our first ray. I'm gonna leave it in the rock pro for a bit, let it recover. We'll put it on the scales, so what it weighs, and then uh, yeah, I'll let you know. bit on that rig was chowed <laughs> and that was the strip bluey just a small strip of bluey about air big maybe two inches long that's all it was I'll re this rig back up I haven't got I, have to, I actually haven't got another rig ready to go on I, sh I really should have but I don't We'll get this one, we'll get this one whipped on, and we'll get it scoped out, and then we'll go and weigh that fish. I think it may be about three, three and a half pound maybe. It's not a very big one, like. So at the moment the crab, the crab bait that's out there, it's not producing anything yet. Like I said, it was a hardback crab. I have brought uh, one soft crab with me. That's been frozen, so we'll give that a go later on as well. That's it. That's all I did. And then the panel hook, which was the lifesaver today. See, a lot of people always say to me, do you use panels, uh, panel hooks? And no, sometimes, I, back in the day, I never used to. Well, back in the day. <laughs> but... Uh, now I do, because it's always it always always saves me the blank. Yeah, so I've just loosened that drag right off. Both rods now have loosened right off, so we can go and have a look at this fish. Now, thornbacks, in my opinion, are really soft fish, which means they probably won't survive a lot of trauma, if you know what I mean. So, uh, like I say, if you leave it in a rock pool for a good 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes at least, that'll give you a chance to recover. Now, I'm looking at the speed of the gills that are moving right now. I'll, I'll show you now. See, there's a little bit of blood there, you can just see on the bottom of the tail that's gone underneath the fish there, but if you just look at the gills look, 
they're moving pretty fast really now in about 10 minutes I'll check on that speed and if it's any slower then I know it's calmed down it's recovered and then I'll release it so we'll give it 10 minutes we'll wait it put it back in the rock pool oh yeah it's breathing nice and then we'll uh, we'll release it but yeah nice little fish have a, have a guess in the comments what you reckon it weighs alright guys I just thought I'd, while I've got the big rod in I'll show you the uh, the rigs I'm using <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned it yet but uh, there you go we've just got on this on the big rod on the lead icon we've got the uh, short pulley rig and on the bait for this one I've put a soft crab with a strip of bluey good sized bait to be honest but we'll see like you say if that produces a hound or hopefully a hound but there's the race still recovering it's moving in the in the rock pool now and the, and the blood stopped so I think uh, I think that guy's gonna go back no problem actually I didn't check if it was a male or female either I'll tell you what I'll do I'll set up the camera uh, and we'll, we'll weigh you or weigh him like I said we'll see <laughs> Guys, it is a female, so she's definitely going to go back. Right, and forgive me because I forgot my weighing sling to weigh her properly. But we'll just have to stick it in the mouth for a sec. <laughs> Didn't sound right, did it? Three pound two. There you are. I told you it was about three pound or something. Let me take it out of your mouth. There you are. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that. So there you go. Three pound two four for the first rear of the day. Yeah, not too bad, really. But that's just, I would say one of the smallest I've weighed. But uh, I have caught, remember there on the last trip when I was here, I caught one a lot smaller than that. So that was the one that must have been around about the two pound mark, so. Yeah, um, I'll bring it back if anything interesting happens. Alright guys, we might possibly have another fish again on the Unibom. Oh, that's the uh, leader and then uh, that's on crab so I'm hoping that's a hound. The camera is in an awkward situation right now. Right, I'm hoping you can see that. Guys, we've we'll got another one. <laughs> Leave it in this rock pool. Off the 
on this tray still. Doesn't need to be. I'm, I'm very grateful it's another rear, but I was hoping that was a uh, a hound. But because as you heard the reel, I was hoping you could you could hear the reel screaming off there. But it was a uh, a bigger thornback. So we'll get this one weighed straight away, and then we'll put it back in the rock pool with the other one, and uh, we'll, we'll get another bait out there. This one's really healthy, really healthy. Uh, we'll get the hook out. Let's see if we can get this camera set up better. Again, the panel hook has saved it. Just in the scissors as well, just in the scissors with the panel. But I should be able to get it. There you are, panel hook, saved it. <laughs> and uh, there she is, stuck to another female. It's a beast. I don't think it's going to beat my 6'6, six, six, but we'll give it away quickly. Where have I put my scales? It can't be. It's only three pound three, or three pound five. Seemed a lot heavier than that. Let me see. I'll try and do it again. Ah, it was a pound under. Right. There, yeah, zero now. That's more like it. Four pound four locked. There you are. I knew because when I when I took it off the scales there, it was under a pound. <laughs> it was put a, a minus a pound. Uh, we're going to put it in this rock pool with the other one, and uh, we'll get that unibomber in because I think there's actually a fish on that one as well. Right, the drag set on the lead icon now. Now I'm going to bring the Unibomber in because, like I said, I think there's possibly a fish on there as well. But if it is, it's not a big one. But before I do that, I need to get a bait ready. Right, guys, I've just brought the Unibomber in and look at the state of the bait. There's nothing left, <laughs> completely stripped. So we'll get this fresh bait put on. It's a bit of bluey. Thread it on like a sausage. Because when you when you're pretty wrappy, it's in it's in like a worm kind of shape, so you just thread it on like a worm. And there you go. A nice wee rear bit. Onto the trace. Uh, sorry, we'll hook the panel, put the panel hook through, like so, and there we go. Now we'll hook this up on the back onto the lid, scop it out, 
and we'll see if we can get any more. Have the feel first. Fish on guys. I knew there was a fish there. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to walk down with it guys because this like I said this is a long trace so. Go and stick another rig on.
Right, so we've got another phone back there, guys. But this one seems to have swallowed the whole bit. Let me just try and do a little bit of surgery on him. Open him off, mate. And again, it was the panel hook. That all pe all the rig all the fish have been caught on the panel hook. Open him off. There we go. Panel hook out. And another rear. <laughs> nice little rear. It's another it's another female as well. I'll give this one away quickly. Oh, 2.9. <laughs> right, we'll go and stick her in the rock pool with the other ones. I just had to try and get a picture. I hope it turned out alright. They're, they're really strong at the moment. <laughs> I think I should release them now to be honest. But what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm going to fish the tide up to this big rock that you can see in the background. Just so then I know, I know for a fact they're going to go back. Well, they're healthy as hell at the moment. Just try to pick them up there, they're flapping and soaking me everywhere. So, yeah, they'll definitely go back, 100%. We're on, boys. Fourth one for today so far. Again, panel hook. Look, just to prove it. Look, there's the main hook there. <laughs> so guys, panel hooks. And uh, another she, another female. Yeah, so we're going to put her in the rock pool with the rest. And we'll uh, rebait that rig. Guys, I forgot to wait. Uh, <laughs> give me one second. It's getting a bit windy now, guys, as well. That wind's picking right up. 
Street Road. Three palm three. We'll, we'll, we'll work out the total at the end. <laughs> I've forgotten what all the other ones weighed, so like I say, in the video, while I'm editing the video, at the end I'll do a grand total. But if I don't catch any more from now, I'll put the grand total up now. But if, I, if you don't see any grand total, there's another fish coming. <laughs> That's the power of the editing. Right guys, the reason why I've got you so close to me is because it's pissing down. And I'm going to release these fish and I've, I've already packed up, I'm just about to release these fish for you And then we're going to go home, because it's like I said, the heavens have opened And I don't want to get my camera wet, which is getting soaked, so I need to be quick If you get any water on the lens I'm sorry, like you already have, look right, There's one We'll just put it in this uh, in this rock pool, like I said. Another one. See, look, she's swimming down there. Look. That was a bit of a bad throw, that to be honest. But they'll they'll be all right. Get another one. I'm trying to keep you out the rain. Right, we've got another one. Right, that one's away. Now, last one. And it's the deepest one. <laughs> right, come here. Come here, last. Ugh. Right, I know there's a bit of water in the lens, guys. I'm really sorry. But last fish. There you are, look. Can't see any white, which means they're all still upright. There you are, there's one there, look, swimming. Alright guys, I'm going to have to get the camera out the, out the rain, because it's going to get wet and I don't want to break it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time in all fishing adventures. Yippee! Guys, before I leave, I'll just, I'm just about to leave, look. She's on her way out. She's swimming out now, look. So look, she can get out there now, if she wanted to. But I would say she'll maybe just hang around in there for a bit until she can get fully out. But she's away, look. <laughs> right, guys, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Bye.